Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid Journey version 5 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make unbelievably amazing, hyper-realistic, ultra-realistic, photorealistic AI art or AI images. Mid Journey version 5 has just taken it to the next level. It just launched recently and as you can see here, I've been playing around with it for quite a bit and I've gotten it down to a nice prompt that I'm going to share with you. I'm going to put it in the description below that allows you to create super amazing hyper-realistic images. Let me show you a few examples here. So I was just messing around and then look, I mean this, I created this. This dog does not exist. This is AI generated. Look at this. You can see the whiskers and the little, the shadows on the face, the depth of field as the, as, as you, as the uh, body moves away from the camera, the lighting is just, it's just crazy what this can do. I'll just keep going here. This here is a, 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 a girl reading a book. You can see the light coming down on her face in a realistic way where if it was, if she was underneath like a lamp or a, or some sort of light, it would look just like that. We'll keep going here. This is an athlete. You know, I asked for a hyper-realistic, you know, version of an athlete. Like, look at her. You can see the shadows on her neck here, the muscles poking through. Like, this isn't a real person. Keep that in the back of your head. Look at the, the light source coming in here. And then it's, you know, she's got like this little bit of a gleaming look on her forehead that she's been out exercising. Unbelievable. I'll keep going. Here's a variation of that. Similar style. I'll keep going here. There's another variation. I mean, this is ultra realistic to the point, like even the teeth are like nicely done. They're not big wonky teeth. Look at the muscles on her neck. Like this is unbelievable. And look at this one. This is another example here. And the light source on this side, it's reflecting correctly off of her face on this side. And the other side's a little darker. Her teeth are pretty much perfect. You can see all the muscles and like just unbelievable what Mid Journey version 5 has done. And I mean, I can't say enough good things about this. So how did I get these types of realistic images? Very simple. I'm just going to go ahead and type it in here. Basically, you want to type in forward slash imagine. And then I'll just copy paste it in. Oh, I got too much there. I'll just delete that imagine part. So what we want is portrait of an athlete isn't what I'm using in this case, but you can be whatever you want it to be of uh, natural lighting, happy, although you can, of course, change the features or change the attitude depending on you know the type of image you're going for natural features 35 millimeter lens global illumination up light dof which means depth of field that gives you that nice blurry look uh the further away from the camera dash dash ar space 1619 which means aspect ratio 69 69 pardon me and then dash dash v space 5 which means version 5 naturally and I mean, if you look at the quality of the stuff we're getting here, like I just ran this one a second ago. I mean, this is crazy. Like, I, I really can't believe how far this has come. I don't even know if people are going to use stock photography anymore. It's that good. Anyways, I'm going to share that. I'm going to put that link to the uh, prompt in the description below. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.